In this video, we're going to find the derivative of the inverse cinch of x. So we're going to rewrite cinch to be an easier function to differentiate, so we have this. So we're going to take cinch on both sides. We get cinch y equals x, but we know cinch y is e to the y minus e to the minus y over 2. That's from cinch y, so we get multiply by 2 on both sides, so we get 2x equals e to the y minus e to the minus y. We're going to multiply both sides by e to the y, leaving us with e to the y squared. Make Drag the 2x to the, to the minus side, other side, so we get minus 2x e to the y minus 1 equals 0. So we're going to have e to the y equals negative b, which is 2x, plus minus square root of b squared, which is 4x squared, minus 4ac. ac is negative 1 over 2. We take out a square root of 4, so that would be 2x plus minus square root of 4, square root of x squared plus 1. This is really just 2 over 2, and the, all, well, all the 2s cancel, leaving us with e to the y equal x plus or minus square root of x squared plus 1. However, we can't take the negative because it will be negative, and we, and we have e to the y is always positive. So now we have y, which is inverse cinch of x, which is ln of x plus square root of x squared plus 1. Now we're going to take, take the derivative on both sides. So we get the derivative of inverse hyperbolic sine is 1 over x plus square root of x squared plus 1 times the derivative of x plus square root of x squared plus 1 which is 1 over x plus square root of x squared plus 1 times 1 plus 1 over 2 square root of x squared plus 1 times the derivative of the inside, which is 2x, leaving us with, so we have 1 over x plus square root of x squared plus 1 times 1 plus, so 2 over 2 will cancel, we get x over square root of x squared plus 1. So now we're going to have 1 over x plus square root of x squared plus 1 plus x over x will just be x over x plus square root of x squared plus 1 times square root of x squared plus 1. So then we're going to multiply both sides by square root of x squared plus 1. So we're going to have x plus square root of x squared plus 1 over x plus square root of x squared plus 1 times square root of x squared plus 1. This and this will cancel, leaving us with 1 over square root of x squared plus 1. And this is the derivative of the inverse cinch of x.